Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here to do a flip through of the new Colour in Heaven magazine, which is the Colour in Heaven Halloween special that came out this week. So there's 40 unearthly designs from various artists. As you can see, there's a sample on the front. Now with this issue, they're donating £10 from every 10, 10 pound, 10 pence from every issue sold to a Mind Bath. Mind is a British mental health charity, so it's a really, really good charity. And on the back, they've got this lovely little zen doodly woman with lots of things going on in her hair um, for mine. So that's a really, really good, good charity. I mean, anybody who suffers from any mental health issues like depression, I suffer from depression myself. It's one of those things. A lot of us will go through it from one time or another and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, so all... Um, money raised uh, going to Bath Mind is a good thing if it can help raise mental health awareness so enough of that and on to the flip through <coughs> so we've got Camille Feister, Nikki Burnett, Vanessa Yotomoto, Zoe Sadler, Avira Ma and, Cl and Carissa Rose so first one is Camille Feister yeah so these ones are all from Camille these are really cutesy, strange, distorted images, which I quite like, like this one. Another one here, little devil, she's got little horns. This one. I do like these. I quite like this one, it's like um, candles. It's almost like very Beauty and the Beast, like the candles on the table. I don't really know a lot about it because I'm not into Disney yet. I'm sure that will change in the next few years. I am into some Disney. I have seen Beauty and the Beast, but I can't remember any characters. But they're melting candles, they look like to me. Quite cute. And this one. So these are all, they're really good. They're really lovely little line drawings. I really like them. Then we're on to Nikki Burnett. Totally different art style, as you can see. A lot more detailed, very gothic looking sexy ladies. I like this one with the cat. I might do this one. I'm probably going to do this one. And I quite like this one in the little sort of like, it's almost like a cuckoo clock, but with a witch. I quite like that one. So I do like all these Nikki Burnett ones. I must get a Nikki Burnett book or something. I know she has got them out. Another artist I've just not collected for some reason. Probably because there's so many. I have like 145 colouring books, I think. Most of which have not been used yet. So we are working on trying to colour a page in each. And I do keep buying them. It's like I order something from Amazon and, I, and, a, and a colouring book accidentally falls into my cart. So I do need to order a nightlight for Jennifer, so I'm desperately trying not to because I know that something's going to fall into my cart if I do. And then there's this one. These are really nice. That's quite a nice one as well. They're on the broomstick above the pumpkin field. And then we're on to a Vanessa Yotomoto. I, Yotomoto. I, I quite like these. Well, these are quite grayscale. They're very detailed, but they're really cute. This one, I love this one. That's a great one. So. That looks like they're pulling, plucking the wings off of a fairy. That's not very nice. Can you see that? Let me just zoom in so you can see. Plucking the wings off a fairy. That's not very nice at all. This is quite an anime style. I'm not normally into anime, but these ones are really, really nice and cute. And I do quite like them. That one's got a mandrake root. That's a good one. So this is a book where I could see me colouring every page at some point. It won't be this October, but, you know, over the years, I will colour them all, I think. That's pretty cool because you don't even have to do the, the outside of the cape, only the inside because the cape's black. That's a good one as well. 
Then one to Zoe Sadler. Now these are very, very fine drawings. This is a little cemetery. I do like these Zoe Sadler ones as well. And that's the, a haunted house. I'm going to say it's a haunted house. It looks like one. Ghostly guest house or ghastly guest house. Yes, haunted guest house with a witch at the top. Now I like the next few. I like this. They're like a shelf of potions and things. And I can see me colouring them in like with different... So, for instance, you've got pumpkin juice, which you could do orange. Um, dreaming or drama. I can't really see what that says, but uh, you could do the different colours depending on what they're called. And you can really see that on this one. So, and this one you've got, see, it's the continuation of the previous page because there's the ogre poison. You see, it carries on, so it would be one really long image. Assorted archibalds, belladonna, essence of ghost, blood of the undead, elixir of life, and so on. And the next page continues it as well. So you imagine that in a proper book as one long fold that would be absolutely awesome. So you could kind of go Stardust in yellow and gold, poison ivy in greens, essence of ghost in greys and whites, oxygen pink, purple and black, fly away in blues. You know, you can imagine all the different colours that these potions would be. And there it is. Pretty much it. All the different potions. So, bone dust, pixie dust, wormwood, rat's blood, sleep potion, gromor, dead sea water. And there's a book of shadows. That's really cool. So I like those Zoe Sadler ones. So this one is uh, Vera Ma, who's also known as Lemon Shortbread. And again, these are very cute manga type girls. More realistic, I think. But they are very cutesy girls. But I quite like that. And I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. And I like this one on the swing amazing amount of amazing set of pictures girl in a dead date okay little kitten in the basket and then this one's nice it's a nice one because it's not as detailed as some of the others so that one will be quite fun to color i think this one's nice yeah, you can see me colouring a lot of these pictures in. I'm taking this book on holiday with me when I go on holiday, so we'll see how many we can do. I said I was going to do a lot of colouring when I went in to have Jennifer, because I was in hospital a week before I had her, because they were inducing me, and I still didn't colour any pictures. I started one picture from Alice in Wonderland by Jade Summer, and I never did anything. I don't know what I was doing the entire time I was in hospital, because it's nothing more boring. <laughs> And then we've got Carissa Rose. So these are these grayscale, almost photo art images. And I've seen people colouring these ones already. Yet these, although I will colour them at some point, are the ones I'm less likely to do because I'm not good at grayscale. And I quite like that one though. So I might have a go at that one while I'm on holiday. I like that one. Yeah, I might do that one while I'm on holiday. And then that one. So that's the 40 images in the Colour in Heaven Halloween special. I've been waiting for this to come out, knowing I wanted to take at least two colouring books on holiday, and one of which would be this one. I knew I was going to take this one, and I'm really pleased with the amount of designs in it. I could probably just take that one and not need another one. <coughs> and although I said I'm going to do all horror, I might actually take four friends and do one of those out there just to break up the Halloween stuff, but... So that's the Colour in Heaven book. It's out now um, from all good news agents and most supermarkets in the UK. I picked mine up in Tesco. <coughs> Excuse me. That's where I always get my copies from, although I have asked my partner to get me a subscription for Christmas, so I don't need to, and they can just be delivered to my door every month, because that would be so nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I hope you'll go out and buy it. I will link a... Uh, I will leave a link to Anthem Pum Publishing down in the comments, uh, down in the description below. So if um, you can't find it in your shop or it's not available in your country, you may well be able to go and order it directly from their website. It is a great book. These magazines are fantastic. I do recommend them. 
I must admit I don't pick up every single one but I do pick up more than I don't so that's why I'm quite happy to subscribe so that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it leave me a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and if you are a subscriber but I haven't hit that notification bell just hit the bell it'll notify you every time I put up a flip through or a coloring video or one of my other videos obviously it's leaning heavily towards coloring at the moment because I'm really back into it right now I'll see you all soon bye